wanted to do something really fun. I want to take you on a tour of Bo's room. I actually want to do more in-depth tours of most rooms in our house. I thought I'd start with Bo's room. There's a lot of sentimental pieces in here and when I was pregnant with our twins, I knew I had to move Bo because she used to be in the twins room and I felt a little badly because this room is much smaller so I really wanted to make it really pretty for her and special. I sat with my big belly for oh days on end doing a whole bunch of DIYs then we spent so much time painting this room and I I went right down to the detail of how I was going to design this room and pick things out that were fun and vibrant and matched her personality and also felt a little bit like a big girl room because I was about to have two more little girls um, I wanted her to have that special big girl feeling so Here's her room, I'm gonna show you around. Here's the room as you walk in. I'm going to start over here and work my way around showing you around this room. This dresser is actually an antique and my grandmother gave it to me and I had it for a long time and then I was really excited to give it to Bo. It's really special, it's very old. You can kind of see some of the details here. I added some white knobs that I got at HomeSense to switch it out. It had wooden knobs and I just wanted to punch it up a bit so we added these really pretty porcelain knobs and there's some really beautiful detail. So on here she has all her jewelry boxes that she was given when she was a baby and over the years and also some special keepsakes. So this lamp here was a lamp that Holden had when he was a little boy and it used to have felt trucks on it. So I wanted to repurpose this lamp and it was the easiest project ever. I pulled off all the felt trucks. I bought all these flowers at Michael's and just pulled the heads off of all of them and then hot glued them on. It's been the easiest project. It's the sweetest little lamp and actually I, I was inspired by some very expensive <laughs> lamps that I saw at a decor store and I thought, you know what, I can make that myself and it's turned out beautifully. Okay, next I'm gonna to move to Bo's bed. So we are debating whether we're going to switch this bed out and get a bunk bed with a desk underneath. But right now, this works pretty well. Um, we've needed something that would fit nicely in here because it isn't a huge room and we wanted some space for her to play. This day bed's from Ikea and all the bedding here is from HomeSense. And a little tidbit about Bo is she has an absolute obsession with bunnies. So this bunny I picked out for her when I was pregnant with her and it's been absolutely loved. Like it's so special. In fact, half the time she almost walks out to school with it by accident because it's attached to her at the hip. But over the years, she's been collecting bunnies. This one here is so sweet. It's from Cuddle and Kind. And these ones we bought for her. She's got a lot more bunnies around the house. This one's so cute. It even came with a little baby. Bo also loves the movie Trolls. She got her big Princess Poppy troll from us for her birthday. And she's got her little karaoke machine over here. So on this shelf, she's got some other special toys, her Hatchimal and her Furby, and some toys down there. This banner here, I will probably be moving at some point, but I made this banner um, for Bo's third birthday. And when she had her third birthday, I was pregnant with the twins and I ended up making a whole bunch of these DIYs then. I knew I was redesigning her bedroom. I was pregnant with the twins and I thought, you know what, I'm gonna make these for her birthday party and then repurpose them for her room. And it worked out so beautifully. It was the cutest little ballet birthday party and I absolutely love these. This was really easy. I just made this one with some felt and I just cut them out. I kind of eyeballed it. I bought some thicker um, embroidery thread and it was so simple. I just double layered it and it's on yarn. This blanket here is so special. Um, I had it made by an Etsy shop when I was pregnant with Bo. I contacted the owner of this Etsy shop and asked her to make this special size. I wanted it to be for the car seat. Just something to wrap over when I put a fleece blanket underneath and it was the perfect size. And I, in fact, I actually ended up ordering a few more quilts like this from this size as gifts for people for quite a few years. Um, unfortunately, the Etsy shop closed down before the twins were born. I was really hoping to get one made for that. Bo uses this for her dolls and I'm sure it's something that will be kept for her kids as well. Over here, I've got a few more DIYs. I made these really big paper pom-poms for her birthday party. I used them as decor and then I knew they were gonna go into her room. And I think they're so sweet. They're, they're actually pretty easy to make 
and um, I think there's just like, it fills that awkward corner there so well. So on this wall, I had quite a few DIYs. The centerpiece of art that says The Princess Sleeps Here, uh, my mom gave to me years ago before I even had any kids and I just held on to it and then when we were redesigning Bo's room, I thought, oh, this would be so sweet. In fact, the color from the sign was the inspiration for the color of her room. Then these four paintings I had made again before I designed this room, I painted those and um, once I was redoing her room I thought, oh, that's a perfect spot for these paintings. This yarn wreath is something I got into and I've made quite a few um, around our house and I made them as gifts for people for a while. They're really easy to make. You can just get a wreath form from a dollar store or a craft store and then all you do is you wrap the yarn around it until it's covering it and then I cut a bunch of felt in different size circles and piled them on top of each other and sewed them together with a few beads. This letter B was something I got at the dollar store for nothing and I also was able to get a few bags of buttons from the dollar store and all I did was hot glue them onto this bee and I think it is so fun and playful and it is such a sweet way to add the letter B for Bo in her room. Okay, so for Bo's curtains, I wanted something different than pink. So I pulled a color out from her bedding and I chose kind of a turquoise color and I love the tie-dye look of these. I believe I got them at Target when Target was in Canada. And then for her curtain hardware, I found this with a really pretty crystal purple accent. I thought it was so adorable and so fun. The colors just makes it even more fun in this room. So Mike and I found this lamp and table, I believe in HomeSense, and it's just the perfect size. She doesn't have a huge room, but she needed some kind of bedside table. And again, I love that it's not pink. It kind of it, it just picks up on some of the tones in her room and it's just so sweet and feminine and such a sweet little light. Right now we've temporarily put the toddler desk that we've had for years in Bo's room. Um, we, she really wants a big girl desk so that's a problem we're trying to solve but right now this is working for her. She loves to color and create things and do beading so that's where she does it. Right here's her closet and then right there is the door to her bathroom which she shares with Holden. It's a Jack and Jill. Over here is where she hangs things like her tutus and her purses. Down here we've got our clothing organization system that I use for Holden and Bo, which I've used for a very long time and it is fantastic. I may even start the twins with one in September. It is the best way to keep your kids clothes organized. I absolutely love it. I use it every single week and just set out the clothes and then she knows exactly what she has to wear each day and there's no arguments and it just makes everybody's life easier during the week when everything's crazy busy and you're trying to get out the door. Right here we've got Bo's bookshelves. She has lots and lots of keepsakes here. It's a little on the messy side but it's functional. She has quite a bit of control over this. So down here we've got some toys and her bead collection and then we've got lots of books here. Same with over here. I gave her all of my childhood books, a lot of Berenstein Bears books, which she loves. So she keeps those here. And she's got her noisemaker. All of our kids listen to ocean waves during the night. This is a dolphin that I recently gave her. It's something that Mike brought back for me when he went on a trip to the Caribbean when we were dating. And I found it in a box and I thought, you know what? It's like, like a, it's made out of stone or something. But I gave it to Bo. She really likes it. Here's a tea set that she painted herself. It's pretty sweet. This Barbie is the 2011 Holiday Barbie. I bought that for Bo um, when I was pregnant with her. I wanted her to have the Barbie from the year she was born. I'm actually kind of shocked that she's never opened it. I think if I were her age, I'd be begging to open it and play with it, but it's, it's never been an issue. I kind of wish I had done that for the twins, but I think I was just a little more busy trying to prepare for twins than look for a Barbie. Up here we have more keepsakes and lots of things that Bo has painted. Right here is Bo's baby book. This right here, is really special. This was my grandma's and she gave it to me. She's in late stages of Alzheimer's, but that was something when I was a little girl, I just absolutely loved this little figurine. And she eventually said, do you want that one year older? And I was said, yes, please. And so she put my name on tape and put that under there and put it aside for me. Okay, so that's basically it. That's the extent of Bo's room. After school, I'm gonna grab her and bring her in here and ask her what her favorite things are in her room. I'm actually kind of curious to see what Bo feels is the most special to her. 
You have a bunny collection. Yeah. <laughs> you don't like bunnies. Yes, I do. <laughs> you love bunnies. This. What is that? And that hat at top. Oh, the Mickey Mouse hat. And that's it. That's Bo's room. Let me know in the comments below whose room you'd love to see next on a room tour. Um, as you guys might know, the twins' room is a little bit pulled apart and very bare right now because of the stage that they're in and they're destroying things. But do you want to see our bedroom? Do you want a, a tour of my office? Do you want a tour of Holden's room? Let me know in the comments below what you want to see and I'll definitely film that for you soon. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, hit that like button. And if you haven't subscribed yet, I'd love for you to subscribe. And if you have subscribed, thank you so much. It means so much to all of us. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.